what up guys welcome back to my channel my name is Antonia I'm back with another video in today's video I am gonna be getting ready for dinner if you're new here welcome if you're already part of this family welcome back I love you love you so much I don't even know what I want to talk about in this video honestly we're just gonna try to get ready so I did this hair yesterday so it's still kind of looking good I just need to do some touch up and then we're gonna go ahead and do makeup so real quick let's fix this hair up we're going to use some of the got to be glued invisible styling gel we're going to apply some of that on the edges and i'm just going to brush them just make the swoop look better no you guys this hair is so beautiful it's from ebony hairline they sent me this wig to review and i'm literally still in love because it's so beautiful okay we're gonna start with makeup so i'm actually kind of running out of time so real quick i'm gonna we're gonna prep my skin so i washed my face 30 minutes ago I totally didn't put anything on my face um we're gonna use my original niacinamide and zinc serum on my face oh wow i am running out uh, but I use this on like a regular basis. So I just wash my face. And we're just gonna apply that. I have a huge scar on my cheeks because I popped my pimple like right here. Next I'm gonna go in with my Curology Moisturizer. And I'm just gonna apply that all over. Next we're gonna go in with this Aveeno Protect and Hydrate Sunscreen. Oh. We're gonna go in with my Daily Hydrating Overnight Face Oil. It's so hard to open. I'm just gonna do a couple drops on every part. I'm going in with my foundation, the Double Wear um, Stay In Place Makeup by Estelle, this has to be French. Estee Lauder. And it's in the shade Cinnamon. We're just gonna apply that all over. Recently, like, you know you guys, like a lot has been happening in my community as well as like, just like on social media that I'm like, where is this world going? Like, I just feel like as a woman, there's just so much that happen to women on a regular basis that nobody talks about and nobody even cares to know about like there's just so much pressure that we're put on as women and we don't realize and i feel like it takes the super strong ones to actually um realize these things and actually go through them in the right way i can't believe like we as women were literally raised our whole lives every little thing that you do like you have to think about how is this gonna affect me as a wife in the future how is this gonna help me as a wife in the future how does that make me a better wife in the future it's crazy what's really going on in our society like what happened to just us being humans like everybody else why are we gonna be so pressured like to be raised with certain norms just because they want you to be a good wife they want you to to make a good wife one day half the time in our african homes they're like you know they want you to get up early, so early in the morning and do your chores because they want you to be a good wife in the future they want you to go to school so you're not like an illiterate wife so you're not like a poor wife everything literally has to do with you being someone's wife it's just really crazy to think that you'll be raised your whole life just to be someone's wife like they will do everything to make you a good wife in the future and everybody everybody your parents everybody is very well aware of it they can't do anything about it because they can't change the norms they can't change the traditions they were treated the same way so you get to get treated the same way as well and it's just so so sad some people are just getting married now just to get the status of a married woman they just want to be like oh yeah she's married she's a married woman some people are honestly getting married for the wrong reason now 
and I'm just like yeah obviously you're not gonna spend your whole life getting trained to be this person and then just for you to not become that person you know what makes sense so people are throwing themselves into marriages um, just because that's what they're meant to be that's who they were raised to become so if you can't become that you're pretty much a disappointment to everybody even to yourself too I don't know if it's just me but that idea just scares the hell out of me where did we leave off <laughs> speaking of how like women are they put a lot of pressure on women I can't even speak because this really irritates me but yeah you know like the whole Lori Harvey thing that's been going around everywhere that everybody's kind of talking about in this society they're gonna convince you and they're gonna make you feel like you're doing something wrong just because you're doing things differently than what everybody else is doing and you're gonna feel like you're convinced that like, you're doing things the wrong way but you as an adult you know what you're doing and if what you're doing makes you happy then do just that all right next we're gonna go in with this wet and wild uh translucent powder definitely my favorite like i don't know how i came across this powder but i don't think i'll ever go back and i don't see myself ever using like any other powders so but we'll see that could change but yeah lori harvey i feel like she is doing the whole dating thing the right way better than everybody else out there because instead of being in a instead of being stuck in a relationship that you're unsure about or that you don't see a future with then you move on half the time when women move on with different men it's usually because whatever the grass is just a little green on the other side and unless you left your relationship for other reasons you know where you actually need to heal you need to grow you need to process things you need some time to yourself or you need to be single for a little while unless you're going through all that kind of stuff i don't see the point of waiting like if, what if you meet the right person right after your previous relationship you can move on and i don't believe in such a thing as moving on too fast it just depends on why y'all broke up like you know what the what was the main reason for you to leave your previous relationship if it was like cheating involved obviously that's not about you if your partner cheated on you or if you're the one that cheated on your partner then i feel like i understand because you need some healing to do you, you need some growth to do you have some you know processing to do you have some forgiving to do you have some self-love self-reflection to do then i understand you can take as much time as you need but if it's just like okay look here this is not working for us and look i'm gonna have to go for somebody else oh hey look i just realized we're very different we have different ambitions we have i just don't see the future with you you know you just slowly move on you don't have to wait for years to start dating again I just feel like as long as you're honest with yourself honest with your partner and just be like hey look this is not working out I'd rather tell you the truth so we could both like get out of this thing you know and move on with our next life purpose you know? so I feel like Lori's situation I feel like that's what happens like you know she just knows like the moment she starts realizing these things and she's already with that person I feel like she's very honest and true to herself that she's like I'm not gonna stay in this thing if I know it doesn't serve my purpose anymore. She moves on the right way. I'm sure she's on good notes with all like her exes because she does it the right way. She doesn't start seeing people while she's still in her relationship just to please that the saying of oh you know you're moving on too fast or like you should stick around for a while what's the point of being in a relationship if you're not happy leave them alone leave that poor man alone leave that poor woman alone and go find somebody else let him know communicate with them just get out of it ahead of t while it's still you know early don't get out when it's already so bad to the point where you can't even communicate you can't even do some closures because you're like I hate you so much and I have to leave. Do it while you guys are still on good notes where you could actually have that conversation and be like, hey, this is why I'm leaving. I just realized that this and that. Or if you actually wrong me, then I could be like, hey, look, you wrong me. I can't forgive you for this and I have to leave. So yeah, I feel like this woman is definitely doing this whole dating thing the right way. It's perf the perfect way. That's how it's supposed to be done. 
you know somebody is not for you don't force it especially if you could have your soulmate waiting for you somewhere else like why you stuck in this thing if out there somewhere else your actual partner the person that God said is yours is actually somewhere else and you're here stuck in this thing just thinking like oh I don't want to look wrong I don't want to look like I'm moving from relationship to relationship I would rather have relationships than be single and mess with the wrong people mess with married people mess with people that are already in relationship mess with people who are taken mess with the wrong guys because you just desperately just want somebody in your life because you're so single but if you are in a relationship you're respected you're seeing one person you're talking to one person you're growing with one person you're literally yourself with that one person compared to being single where you'll talk to multiple people and it's just not cute so if she is dating a lot she is just living her life and i don't expect her to be ready for marriage at her age right now marriage is not all about that and people need to understand that not everybody dates to get married get it right get it right people everybody dates for different reasons obviously whatever your reason is keep it to yourself and whatever their reason is let them be with their reason let them be for those people who think she's doing it wrong there's no wrong or right way to do life or to live life so whatever someone is doing if it's not for you don't do it don't do it do your own kind of thing and stop judging people period Guys, my makeup is literally almost done so i was kind of running out of time so i had to like step off and like hurry but yeah like what we were talking about earlier there is so much pressure put on women like you know they want us to grow up as these like trophy Da, 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 queens but at the same time they want us to be independent driven intelligent it's so much pressure like you can't just be a woman since they're already raising you to be someone's wife you can just be a wife but no there's so much pressure you have to be super duper responsible obviously it's stressful but i hope we don't get carried away in all that and focus on what we can actually achieve and overall just be happy and be happy with ourselves and where we are in life no rush and remember there's no table of content of our life you can't be like this is what's gonna happen and this is what's gonna happen next obviously you do have to have plans for your future but these plans can always change depending on what God really wants for you or what your purpose is. Your future could change any time. So yeah, just try to live as happy as you can. Do not compare yourself to others. Win your bread. Love yourself. Be around the people that make you happy and be true to yourself because at the end of the day, you come first, you matter. And what makes you happy is what you should definitely do. So forget about society, forget about everybody, forget about people just judging you for being who you are, for trying to do what you want to do, and just be yourself. Because if you're trying to please people, trying to be who you're not, you're only deceiving yourself. A person is your personality so whatever you present out there to fake you to fake who you are that's not the real you the real you is who you are who you're hiding from us not like we care but at the end of the day you're deceiving yourself being someone that you're not so yeah you guys i'm really really excited to see what this makeup is gonna look like i still don't know what i'm gonna wear and i have like less than 20 minutes to finish my makeup life is not that serious take a step at a time breathe a little you know it's all gonna be all right just barely the beginning of the year so don't stress it don't put too much pressure on yourself do not let anybody stress you do not let anybody put so much pressure on you take time to reflect 
take time to think about your decisions um just slow down and take life one step at a time it's not that serious life is too short to be stressing about it especially if you don't even know if you're gonna make it to five years ten years thirty years fifty years from now do not forget who you are live in the moment take a break from everything that stresses you out and just leave up a little just a little bit okay I'm trying to dry this glue so we have to go to the movies after the dinner and I already know after we're done with dinner I'm gonna take these lashes off and just watch a movie while I'm relaxed cuz I can't kill myself uh-huh I can't kill myself oh but yeah I feel like <laughs> I don't know I think I'm just too much today honestly it's just been a good day for me I can't complain it's my day off the it's giving it's giving relaxed me it's giving rested me you know when you have enough sleep and you just feel good that's what it's giving so I don't know where my lipstick is but I really need it and I kind of don't have time to look for it so I'm just like I'm just literally putting stuff on my lips until I come up with the color that I'm going for so next I'm gonna add a little bit of concealer to like lighten up the middle of my lips the color I'm going for is really not giving it. We'll see after this concealer gets blended. Because usually I have to do this anyway, almost like every day. I'm kinda used to it now. It's starting to give, so I'm gonna go ahead and top it up with some lip gloss. I'm running out of time, you guys! But yeah, the makeup is looking good so far. Let's go ahead and fix this hair first so we can see. I'm going to put a little bit of concealer to line this hair because we want that middle part to smack, like literally pop. So if I can get time, oh, we forgot highlight people, we forgot highlight, we can't go without highlight. If this is dinner, this lipstick is actually really cute. Now that I'm looking at it right now, it's actually really, 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 really cute. The hair is definitely hairing. I can't wait to brush it. It looks so good. But yeah, again, thank you so much to Ebony Hair for sending me this wig. It's so beautiful. Everybody that's seen this wig on me, they're just like, oh my gosh, that's your color. And I was like, they sure do know me. And it's not tangling up. So after you brush it, you're just going to run your hands through it. You just kind of go like this. And boom they're back and bouncy thank you guys so much for watching this video i love you so much leave me a comment down below about all our chat today also if you need this hair or any of the stuff that i use let me know and i'll link them down below but for sure this hair is going to be in the descriptions box below so go check it out it's beautiful and again it's from ebony hairline thank you so much ebony for sending me this hair again but yeah i'll see you guys in my next video do not forget to subscribe like this video comment down below what you want to see next and i'll see you guys in my next video see ya but yeah this is the outfit it's cute or whatever my hair is like all over the place forget about that and then i'm gonna pair it with probably silver jewelries like earrings a watch and yeah that's it